Hey everybody, I'm Cruise Man, and today I'm going to talk to you about cleaning the wheels and tires on your motorcycle. This is going to be the first in a series of motorcycle detail videos. It also gives me an opportunity to introduce you to a brand new, to me, product line called Super Clean. That's coming up right after this. So today we're going to work on cleaning the wheels of your motorcycle. These are the, usually the dirtiest parts of the bike. Um, on most motorcycles, your rear wheel is always going to be the dirtiest. Uh, in most cases, you got oil and stuff from the chain. Uh, we don't have that on the gold wing, but you do get a lot of brake dust and road grime on the, both wheels and especially the rear wheel. So today we're going to try a couple of different products. We're just testing these. First time I've used them. First we have the Super Clean All Wheel Cleaner. Now this is safe to use on some wheels. It's actually an acidic based cleaner. Uh, however, I would not use this on wheels that are bare metal like the 2012 previous Goldwings that had the aluminum wheels that are just polished no clear coat. I wouldn't use this. I would opt for the regular Super Clean because it is an alkaline based uh, degreaser. I'm going to try both. I'm going to try the all wheel cleaner on my rear wheel of my 2018 Goldwing because it is, I'm not sure if it's painted or powder coated, but it is at least clear coated and, and protected. But you you would not want to use this on a 2001 to 2012 or even previous or any motorcycle that has a, a, a wheel with no clear coat or a wheel uh, that has bare metal. If you have chrome, it should be fine. Spoked wheels, it should be fine. Powder coated wheels, it should also be fine. Now I'm going to use this wheel brush that I have that I got off Amazon. I use this on the car and I'm going to use it on the motorcycle. Um, I think it's probably a good idea to do some agitation, uh, otherwise it's just not going to get as clean as it would otherwise. I did test this on my Lexus, and I used the all-wheel cleaner and sprayed it on the wheels. It did a pretty good job by itself, but it just does a much better job if you're able to use a brush. I also have a small uh, little boar's hair brush that I'll use for the lug area, smaller areas to get into. And then I have this brush, which is just kind of a tire brush. Now I'll put links to all these uh, in the description of the video. Oh, one other thing. I also have a garden hose uh, because once you finish the cleaning, you let it sit for about 30 seconds. You do not want to let either of these products dry on your wheels or tires. So you want to make sure you rinse it off really good after you've cleaned the wheels. So I've got my garden hose ready with my little sprayer. Kind of spin the wheel as I rinse it. This wheel is not as dirty as it usually is. You also want to make sure you're wearing uh, gloves to protect your hands from these chemicals. They can be rather caustic. And I'm going to soak them pretty good. I'm going to get the tire too. And then we'll go around to the other side and I'll make sure I get the other side the same way. Acidic cleaners are better for wheels where you have a lot of brake dust. They do a better job breaking down that brake dust. Use my wheel brush here, get a little agitation going. I think it'll make a big difference. Might not be a bad idea to also wear eye protection because this brush will flick those little droplets and they could kind of get in your eyes if you're not being very careful. Kind of sticking behind the camera, actually. Now I'm going to use my little, my little boar's hair brush and get up under the hair where these lug nuts are. Get out any grime that might be in there. And now I'm going to kind of hit these tires with this tire brush. Now these products are biodegradable. So it's safe to rinse all this stuff off on your driveway or wherever you're working. When you're cleaning the, on a Goldwing, 
when you're cleaning the uh, right side of the wheel, you want to make sure you get up in those little recesses because a lot of grime will collect up in there. Dirt, grime, other things, bad things. And uh, it can actually affect the balance of your wheel if you get too much packed up in there. So make sure you get those areas really good. Now I'm gonna go over the tire one more time. I can actually use the brush to kind of spin the tire. I also used it on the brake calipers. And again, you can't rinse too much. Okay, I think that's good on the rear wheel. Now we're ready to do the front wheel. And on a 2018 Goldwing, you can immobilize the front wheel by putting a little pin right here. Once the wheel is straight, it's a good idea to do that because once you're, we jack up this front end, we don't want the wheel to flip on us while we're cleaning it. Now Traction Dynamics makes a pin that you can slip in here. I'm just going to use a pretty, pretty long wood screw that will fit in there. It's not perfect, but it will keep it. You can see it only allows maybe an eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch of play. Here I'm just using a scissor jack and I'm going to basically attach it or connect it to the front of the engine. Now, I have a video on my maintenance series that shows you where the safe place is to jack up the front end of a Goldwing and how to do it properly. So you wanna make sure you refer to my video on my maintenance series on how to safely jack up the front end of the Goldwing. There's a specific place on the front of the engine that you have to go to to place your jack. You can't just put it anywhere. And depending on your particular motorcycle, of course, that's gonna change as to where you can uh, jack up your bike. To safely jack this bike up, you only wanna go until the rear wheel touches the ground. Once that rear wheel touches the ground, then that gives you three points of contact with the ground. So I'm watching the rear wheel, the rear tire, as I jack up because I want to make sure I have that third point of contact with the ground. I want to emphasize how important it is that you stop jacking up the motorcycle as soon as that rear wheel touches the ground. If you continue to jack too much, your center stand could come off the ground and retract using the spring on the center stand. And then you've only got two very weak points of contact for this jack. So you want to make sure you stop jacking as soon as you see that rear tire touch the ground. And of course, if you choose to use one of these jacks on your motorcycle, you do so at your own risk. And of course, if you have a proper motorcycle lift, all of this becomes moot. And we have that right now. Okay. Now that we have the front wheel off the ground, you see I can spin that front tire. And it's not going to wobble on me too much because I put that screw up there in that little uh, retainer hole. So that's a good thing. I'm using the regular Super Clean degreaser, full strength. They also make this in a foaming version which might actually be better for a case like this with wheels. But I'm just going to use the regular, I have it set to spray on top of the unit. And uh, we'll just start spraying it down. Let me grab my gloves. I'm also going to get the uh, brake discs, the calipers. Now this has a pretty strong odor. It's, it doesn't smell bad, but it's one of those things that when you breathe it in, you can feel it. I would try to avoid getting it on your paint of your motorcycle if you can. Probably won't damage it. It'll sure strip off any wax you have. Now I'm gonna come in here with my little boar's hair brush. I'm gonna get into some of these little areas that are hard to get to. 
So what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna come back because what we're getting, I think, is a lot of brake dust and it's not really doing anything for that. You can see it's left some of this behind. I think that's probably brake dust. So I'm gonna try the wheel cleaner now and see if that makes a difference. I really do like the foaming uh, concept better. And I think even the regular Super Queen with a foam would probably have worked better than the regular spray. I already see more stuff coming off the wheels. Yeah, I, already, I can already see a lot more stuff coming off with the wheel cleaner as opposed to the regular Super Clean. I didn't notice it on the, on the Lexus, but I think when we get more brake dust on these motorcycle wheels, yeah, I see a lot more stuff just pouring off these wheels. Okay. Oh yeah, I see a lot more stuff coming off. I think the wheel cleaner, if you've got a 2018 plus Honda Goldwing, the super clean wheel cleaner is the way to go. If you've got an earlier uh, Goldwing, you're probably gonna have to just stick with super clean and get the foaming version. Yeah, this, this is really, really making a difference now. Okay, let's rinse. So I just want you to take a look at how clean this wheel is now. I mean, it literally looks almost brand new. Now, it's still a little wet, but you can see how cleanly this uh, super clean all wheel cleaner rinses off. It's pretty amazing. Now, as far as a tire cleaner, I think the regular super clean, look at the brake caliper. I mean, I hit all of this with this all wheel cleaner and I think it just looks amazing. Even if you look down, see if I can get a shot of the hub how clean the hub is inside. I mean, that thing is pretty amazing. The reason we made the wheel cleaning the first in our motorcycle detailing video series is because the wheels are the dirtiest part of the motorcycle and you always want to clean your wheels before you start washing the motorcycle. So I start with the wheels and the tires get those done. I won't put the dressing on the tires until I finish washing and detailing the bike, but you always want to start with the wheels because they're such a dirty part of the bike. So in my opinion, the super clean all wheel cleaner wins this round. I think it just did a better job on the wheels. It got more of that brake dust and grime off. The regular super clean I think does good on the tires but that all wheel cleaner, really that acidic cleaner just did a kick-ass job on these wheels. They just, they look absolutely amazing. I think you'll agree. But super clean for a degreaser for cleaning your tires. Uh, if you have a uh, engine with a lot of grease around the engine or the crankcase, the regular super clean would be what you'd want to use. It's a super heavy duty degreaser. Now, as I said earlier, I would never put the dressing on the tires um, until I've washed the bike, but I'm gonna do it since this is a wheel and tire video, I'm gonna go ahead and put some on just to show you how I do it. And that way we can finish up the job on wheels and tires. I don't put anything on the wheels, but I do on the uh, sidewall of the tires, you might want them to be a little shinier, a little darker, a little more of a, I prefer a matte finish. I use this product from Black Magic, and I don't even know if they still make it, but it gives you like a matte finish on the tires. I prefer that to that greasy, shiny look. But you have to be careful when you're doing any kind of dressing on your tires on a motorcycle. It's not like a car. On my car tires, I would use something like this, an applicator to put on the dressing. But on these tires, 
uh, if you use something like that, it's going to uh, place that dressing on the tread of the tire. We don't want that. This is just too wide. So what I do is I put a little bit of dressing on just a little piece of microfiber cloth and I'll put that around. You wanna be very careful not to get dressing on your tread because it's gonna make your tire very slippery. You could lose control of the motorcycle and it can take it a mile or so to wear off. So always when you're putting dressing on a motorcycle tire, make sure you're only getting it on this very thin sidewall right here. Let me show you how I do it. I'm not even gonna spray this on the tire. I'm gonna spray a little bit on the microfiber, just on a little kind of a corner piece, just a little bit, doesn't take much. Just like that, a little bit right there. And I'm just gonna do this right here as I spin the tire. I wanna make sure it's only getting on the sidewall. Again, you don't wanna get this on your tire tread. So right there, and I'm not sure if you can see, but it's already starting to look better. You also wanna make sure the your tires are dry if you've just washed them. Make sure they're dry before you apply the dressing. Of course, you want to read the instructions on whatever dressing you're using. Oh, well, I hope you enjoyed this video today on how to clean and kind of detail the wheels of your motorcycle. If you like this video, I would appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon and click the subscribe button for more motorcycle detail videos like this in the future. Now I will put links to Super Clean's products and all the brushes and everything I used in this video. I'll put it in the description of this video. Uh, they're available on Amazon. Uh, you can also buy Super Clean at some of the local stores like Walmart, AutoZone, some of those places. So anyway, check it out. I'm very impressed with the wheel cleaner, very impressed with the degrees on the tires and on other products. So check it out. I'll see you on the next motorcycle detail video cruise vans garage before you take the honda goldwing off the center stand make sure you remove that safety pin